What's good? It's your boy Dre back again with part four of this infamous Second Son Evil Path walkthrough. And if you are enjoying what you're seeing with these uploads, I am working hard. So if you would, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got something. Where's everybody going? Supposed to be protecting them from me. Gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. Not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movements. Mobile command center, got it. So what exactly does one of those look like? Well, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communication gear on top. All right, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Okay, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. Blow out enough of those. The core should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels. Got it. Man, that feels good.
local smoking chimney right away. Remember, locate the mobile command center and destroy it. Make things a little easier. Find the main power core? It should be on top. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. you big fella oh crap well did it work uh no time to check man i got dupes coming at me from every direction get the hell out of there yeah great advice I hate to ask, but any of your best people in blue know anything about these core relays? Well, apparently they've got them set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them. Do you people tell them what they do? But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? So you can keep tapping them for more powers? No. Forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less powers. Look, I didn't say that. Well, I guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and get it over with. Not sure what's gonna happen. All right, all right, I get it. Look, just stay away from Augustine and I'll send you the ones I know of. Thanks, Reg. You're the best brother ever. <laughs> no, the best brother ever would have locked you in a closet back in Salmon Bay for the rest of your life. Wow. I'm not sure a closet can hold a conduit for long, but I appreciate your wanting to lock me up. Reg, you should see this, man. The DUP's completely trashed this city. All the people are walking hunched over and nervous looking. Yeah, well, that's how martial law works. You control the city and the people by breaking them both down first. Yeah, well, occupying armies suck. You may want to keep that to yourself for now. Tasty.
Hey, Reg, those uh, core relays we saw on the way here must have been cracked by all that destruction. This one's sealed up pretty tight. I doubt the DUP is going to let you borrow their keys. You're probably going to have to break them open. Oh, look, I just happen to have some mad new breaking skills. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Look out below! I gotta tell you, man, I think at the rate I'm going with the powers thing, I'm like one, maybe two away from storming her castle. Okay, why don't we slow down there, hotshot? I mean, she just destroyed an entire concrete and steel bridge, you remember? Right, so you're think you think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Apparently, that's what they say. Why do people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Ah, that can be it. Reg, man, you should see this place. Completely deserted, no ferries going in or out, or... Same thing at the airport and train station. Now that they got the bridge out, the DUP's got this town sealed tight. It's not gonna be easy, is it? You bet I didn't think to mention that to you over and over during the last ten hours. I feel good about this one.